part one. Mr Chair, um, happy to talk and, and take your advice about being specific uh, on part one. I'm happy to take a core, a very short core on the Port England development and neighbouring bill, sir. Uh, part one. Uh, clause three, and there are, there are three particular interpretations there, sir, that I, I do um, want to make some points and perhaps get some answers from the Minister and the Chair, and that is uh, where we talk about development land uh, under clause three, and you'll see we talk about development land means the land that is 11.6921 hectares more or less being section one or survey office plan 503726. And sir, the words that get me, that spring at me the most, are those words more or less. Now I can understand if we're in this in this house and it's 1870 or even 1970, where our, our tools of measuring uh, the extent of the land uh, will be under enormous pressure. But sir, we're in 2017 and now we've got laser beams that can be so precise. Uh, that it's either 11.6921 hectares or it's not, or it's not. And so my question to the Minister is why do we have more or less in terms of development land? Why, why is the need for more or less? Do we, do we not uh, have confidence in our surveyors having the necessary tools to get that precise? I, I, don't, I don't know, but, but Sue, that is a concern because, of course, you know, 13.5 acres, or we could even go up to 30, is still consistent with that term, development land, more or less. And so I think, Sue, um, it's, a, it's a decent question to ask the chair, uh, the, sorry, the minister and the chair, uh, as to uh, the necessary need or the requirement to have a qualifier, which is as long as a piece of string of those three simple words, more or less. Then, sir, we go on to the next um, clause under, uh, under, sorry, interpretation under clause three, where we talk about um, the Point England Reserve. Again, we say means the land that is 45.5259 hectares, more or less. More or less. There it comes again, that term, more or less. And I think it is a really good question to ask. Uh, the, the minister in the seat. Why, why have we got specificity around the acreage or the hectares required for development land and clearly what's remaining and what could be the Point England Reserve? Because there'll be many of us, I'm sure, in this House that might think, actually, it might be all of the reserve that now becomes development land because under this interpretation, Clause 3, that's how I read it. Am I the only one that's reading it that way? So, so I think we do need to say, actually, it's just 11.6921 development land hectares. End of story. We also need to say Point England Reserve means the land that is 45.4259 hectares. End of story. And then those three words come up again, sir, in the remaining reserve land. Again, we say that the land is 32 0.9213 hectares, more or less. Like I say, like I say, we're in 2017. We should have the tools, the expertise, the position in our surveyors, sir, to get what land is going to be development land, what land is actually going to be uh, left in Point England Reserve, and, sir, what land is going to remain in, in, in under interpretation, the remaining reserved land, sir. That's the question I'd pose to the chair, and hopefully, I'm oh, sorry, the, chair, um, the, the minister and the chair, sir, and hopefully he can give the house and give all those that are watching this contentious bill uh, uh, an answer to why we have more or less in the interpretations under those three clause three, part one of the bill. Kia ora. Mr Chair. I call Jamie Lee Ross. I move that the question be now put. I call Catherine Delahunter. Tēnā koe, Mr Chair, tēnā koutou te whare. I will take a brief...